In today's tech talk, Samsung's folding phone is back on shelves for an eye-popping price. And new privacy concerns about how Ring planned to let police see live video from neighbors' high-tech doorbells. Joining me to talk about this, tech expert Jessica Naziri. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. I want to talk about this Samsung phone that is a whopping $2,000. Please explain how it could be worth this much. This is the future of phones. So Samsung is a huge company and soon we'll see new companies coming to this realm of a foldable phone. Now what's interesting is the phone was actually supposed to come to market sooner, right. but they had some screen woes. And early testers tested out the device and they saw that actually whenever I folded the phone, it broke. So they actually recalled the phones, pushed back the air date, and decided to work on a few kinks. So now they're saying, okay, we will actually dedicate someone, a, a third party, to help you anytime the phone doesn't work. We're gonna give you instructions on to gently use this $2,000 phone. It's like mm. a little baby. Um, but frankly, I'm super, super excited about this phone. This will be the future of how the rest of the luxury phones come out into, into the world. <laughs> and so what is it? I saw that you did get the iPhone Pro, I think it was, to review yes. it. So you're an iPhone user, right? Well, I'm Primarily. a both user. Okay. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in the boat of whatever phone does the best. So I like to try them all out. I'm not agnostic to one. I think having them all, the yeah. iOS, the Android, that way I can compare and say this phone does this well, that phone has good battery life. That is true, this is your world. But what makes the Samsung worth 2000, that it folds? So yes, it <laughs> folds, but this is multitasking world. If you think about it, right now our phones, our personal computers, our small little computers mm -hmm. in our pockets, now will be even more functional. So imagine having three different tabs open at the same exact time. So that okay. makes me super excited as a you know geeky person, but <laughs> there are so many things you can do now with having a huge phone. All right, so Ring, always at the center of uh, controversy about privacy issues. Now it's doing what at some point it said it wouldn't do, which is giving uh, access to police departments to live video. So essentially what happened, uh, Ring was working on a way where anytime someone would call first 911 first responders, rings in that area would automatically turn on, stream video, and get sent to police. Right. So that would help police in turn find out what was happening and investigate matters. But then they didn't actually go forward with it, as you can imagine, lots and lots of security concerns there. Right, I mean, it, it, it seems like it would actually work in terms of preventing crime as opposed to dealing with it afterwards. But of course, people are concerned that it would turn into a privacy invasion. Exactly, so in a sense, imagine a lot of neighborhoods, you know, where they wouldn't necessarily have information on from a surveillance perspective, then now they would have loads of information and they also have an app called the neighborhood app i'm sorry the neighbor app where users have this database and can actually notify other people in the neighborhood of crime and put out the video and share it. and so police had access to this and of course users had to opt in but even if they didn't ring could have subpoenaed i'm sorry police could have subpoenaed ring and get those videos it seems to be an ongoing issue as far as uh, having a conversation about balancing safety versus privacy. It seems like safety continues to win at this point. Big brother watching you is not the best feeling. And if you think about it, Amazon owns Ring. Mm. So imagine third party surveillance, imagine all the data now that this huge tech company has and they're working with law enforcement. And you know, we don't really want big tech companies to work with law enforcement, but there are a lot of back and forth deals. Nearly 470 different police departments in the US are collaborating with Ring. So that says a lot. Right, that is huge. All right, so speaking of Amazon, which owns Ring, like you said, they're partnering, yes. or they want to partner with other companies that have something like Alexa, are other companies playing, and what are they exactly trying to do? You bring up a really good point. Are other companies playing? <laughs> so we will. I will be the first to say that Google, Samsung, and Apple are not on board yet. So today they did have that big announcement, and. Over the weekend, Google did put out a statement saying, this is the first we heard of it. This is something we'll look, in, look into. So the way that it works is, you know, we do have Siri, we do have uh, Cortana, we do have Amazon Alexa. All these different products, you bring up a different name and then it activates the voice assistant. So what mm. they wanna do, they wanna have 
all this in one space, meaning let's say you have you know, an app to turn on your phone. So Bose is one of them, BMW is one of them. All of these companies are now jumping on the bandwagon to say one name and one device so you don't have to buy all of them. And in, in fact, they'll turn on all the devices. Huh, okay. That's a little bit confusing as far as how that would work, but I guess the idea is whatever you could do on all of them, you can do on this one device. Exactly, so that, that's the whole goal here. Very interesting. Hmm. All right, Jessica Naziri, always a pleasure. We will have you back as more tech news breaks.